with turkey seasons ending throughout everywhere, unfortunately, it's getting that time to start thinking about the next steps of BCO, what we're going to be filming, all that fun stuff. So this video is just going to be a quick topic video on what you guys want to see and uh, what we are planning to do going forward. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so right now uh, it's, what, May 26th, day before Memorial Day. Um, I think Moose has a tag left. I'm tagged out. Hawk's tagged out. I do want to, I'm trying to work with Moose about getting one last turkey trip in uh, for next weekend. We'll see uh, if that happens. I really want to make it happen. As you guys know, I didn't get to travel really I got to travel for two days in Kentucky and that was it, thanks to my engine. But uh, looking forward, I've been grinding extra hard this spring uh, to try to make sure the BCO pattern in service, which is going to launch this spring. Well, I'm hoping by mid-June we're going to launch it. We're going to do a limited amount of setups that we're going to do, but that's for a video for a different day. I don't want to break down the pricing and all that until it's actually live. Uh, I do have already people lined up wanting to do it. And like I said, the first year we're just going to limit it and just run, you know, a select amount, maybe 15 setups, uh, and just test the water, see how it goes. And then next year, take more on and see how we can do these things, how effective we can be, how quick we can be efficient, and how many setups we can really get done in the summer. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. But going forward, now, uh, I'm going to be putting in a ton of work at the BCO range. We're going to get, you know, I just weed whacked a 40 yard, well, 50, about 55 yard uh, shooting path. Going to get the brush hog out, brush hog that, get it, get the back blade on, level it out so we can get five targets wide and uh, build legit targets <laughs> going forward and uh, just get it ready for the pattern in service. But on top of that, we did not forget about penetration testing. We are going to be doing penetration testing. We, we are going to do a little bit more of a variety this summer because June and July are our worst months for views. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the pattern in service going forward. So we'll, we'll be filming those in long form videos. Each setup will have its own video put on YouTube, which is going to be really cool, especially for the people sending their guns in. Uh, getting their getting their their setup out there. We're going to be doing rifle testing both both for whitetail and predator, and do a lot of you know gel tests, see what they do, uh, grouping, all that fun stuff, and uh, kind of do more of that going forward. I'd like to do more pistol testing and uh, predator loads, waterfowl, uh, defense loads, uh, home defense, whether it be a shotgun, a pistol, what have you. Uh, do gel tests, pattern tests, all that fun stuff, and really just give a diverse summer and just see what you guys really like and what you guys really want to see. Now, I do want to do more waterfowl patterning. It's something that we like to do because we hunt ducks, we hunt geese, and I really would like to do that more. Um, I'd like to continue to do turkey tests and then just save them to upload in January so we're not filming when it's minus 10 and... Uh, it's shitty out and it just sucks because we do that quite often. But I'm just kind of filming this video to see what you guys think, what you guys are looking for uh, this summer. If you want to see your, you know, your home defense, you want to see more predator testing, whether it be rifles or shotguns, uh, waterfowl, broadhead tests, archery tests. We do have a bunch of archery tests that we're going to be doing. Uh, I don't really want to break it down yet, but it has a lot to do with the veins. So not only are we going to be testing broadheads, but we're going to be testing flight in two different ways. And I don't want to say any, anything on how we're doing that yet, not till it's time. Otherwise, someone will start doing it. It's going to be really cool, the archery test, but I just think in the summer, it gives us the time uh, to not only launch the BCO pattern in service and do our work on that, getting people setups perfect to what they like uh, and film those, but also give us a chance to bring a lot of variety from archery to waterfowl to predator, all that fun stuff. And uh, just see 
what you guys really like. So I'm curious, drop your comments below, let us know what you are most most pumped about coming soon on the BCO channel. I know a lot of you guys watch mainly the broadhead tests. I know most of you guys mainly watch the turkey stuff, but we all hunt deer, predator, all that fun stuff. And uh, the one thing we want to start doing is we're going to start predator hunting pretty hardcore, not just your coyote, your fox, but we're going to do raccoon hunts, skunks, possums, crows. We're going to freaking hammer down on them. So we're going to be doing a lot of tests like that. You know, crow pattern tests, stuff like that, crow decoys, because we used to crow hunt a ton. They are extremely hard to hunt, and everyone overlooks them as a turkey predator. But they will follow a hen, find where she's nesting, bug her to the point she bounces off, and a crow will come in and break those eggs, and there's dinner. Or they'll kill the poults. Crows are extremely effective hunters. Everyone overlooks this for your skunks, your possums, you know, your raccoons. But a crow is extremely smart. They're smarter than half of America, I guarantee it. I guess that's not saying too much anymore, it seems like. But they're extremely smart. And uh, so we're going to promote crow hunting and a bunch of stuff on those lines too. I just think as turkey hunters, there's a lot more that we could be doing to better suit the turkey. And uh, just the habitat in general. So let us know what you're looking for down below. And then... Uh, it's going to be a very diverse summer, well, end of spring, summer on the channel. So it's going to be really fun to film all this and really fun to see what you guys think. I just think it's going to be absolutely awesome. But guys, as always, drop your comments below. Let us know what you think. Smash that thumbs up button for your boys. Let us know how, what you thought of our hunt so far this spring. I know we didn't get to do 70 billion states and all this stuff. But we had some really awesome hunts and some really unforgettable mornings in the turkey woods, as you do no matter how little hunts you have. Ain't about punching tags with us, as you guys know. We just thoroughly love chasing turkeys, being a field. And this year, I really needed all that peace I, I found in uh, the turkey woods. So it's it's been an interesting spring, to say the least. That is for sure. But guys... Make sure you sh subscribe, share these videos. If you want to become a member, check out all this content early. Link down below. Also, the new website I just launched, which is how you're going to be able to contact us for the pattern and service going forward. Once we get that legalized, that'll be on the website as well. But all the links that you could possibly want to support us, watch us, all our social media on our website, everything's clickable. Check it out down there. But guys, this is Jake Sleeves from Blue Collar Outdoors. I just wanted to break down quickly uh, what is coming over the summer. It's going to be a crazy summer. Going to have tons of different content. And hopefully the BCO pattern and service will be launched. So you get to see people who send their setups for us to find their perfect pattern with whatever chokes or loads they want to see in their gun. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. So you'll be able to see that too. If you're intrigued about that, make sure to send us a message. Limited this first spring summer to make sure we got everything lined up and effective so guys we'll catch you on the next one